Hello everyone, back to the completionist farm. Because there's only a few days left in fall, you're probably not going to see very much of it because it's probably not going to be very exciting. Of course, we will go to the Spirits Eve Festival, and if you want to make with that star drop at any point, that would be acceptable. Okay, so it turns out my stupid cow gave me a large milk today for the first time ever, so that's going to the community center, and because it's Friday, I'm also going to visit the traveling merchant. And while I'm at it, I might as well process all these geodes I've acquired as well as donate this thing to the museum. It's actually a productive day. And the traveling merchant has... nothing of interest. While I'm at it though, I should probably ride my horse. Much better. Any good requests from the lazy people? Earth crystal. Accept. I don't have an earth crystal and I'm not gonna get you one. Find your own. Okay, we'll see how many artifacts we have in these geodes, or maybe anything of use at all. Well, by happy coincidence, I just found Emily her stupid earth crystal, so she'll get that. But I think as far as artifacts go, I did not find any new ones from the geodes, I just have the one I originally found I can't remember where. Actually, as it turns out, I'm one large egg away from a greenhouse, which would be pretty cool because I can't plant anything in winter anyway. And conveniently, it is just after 12, so the saloon is open and I don't know what time Emily gets here at, so I'm gonna go find her at her house. Hiya weirdo, here's an earth crystal. Hello Johnson, you brought me the item I asked for. It looks perfect. In 150 gold, which covers the cost of processing the geode. You know what? While we're here, let's give George his second gift of the week. Today, George gets a trilobite, a long extinct relative of the crab. This is probably the worst gift I've ever seen. Thanks a lot. Well, it probably moves faster than you do. Bye. And for some reason, I found a prehistoric tibia next to the railroad tracks. Probably just another one of Pam's victims. Okay, that just about concludes the 26th, and Leah, if I don't get my start out tomorrow, I'm divorcing you. Money made for the day, 3807 gold. A lot more than I thought, but I did cover pretty much the entire map doing some foraging stuff and all my geode stuff. Neptunite apparently is very valuable. That was so much fun, we're gonna do it all again! Star drop? And just some of the usuals crop-wise, grapes and eggplant. Alright, well since I'm basically just waiting for the festival to start at 10pm, I'm pretty much just going to go mining because I don't really have anything better to do. So floor 103 has this big hoable spot, so I'm going to go ahead and do that just to see what I turn up. Now that I have that excitement over with, I found two rusty cogs, a rusty spoon, and a skeletal tail. That's actually pretty good odds if you're ever looking for artifacts, so keep that in mind. 10pm and the Spirit's Eve whatever has started, so time to go do that. Okay, if you haven't seen it before, this is the Spirits Eve Festival. Pierre has a store here, you can buy things like this. Rare Crow? Uh, why not? Also, my wife is here, can't think of her name. I may have had a little too much pumpkin ale. She's drunk. Well, whatever, just call her Pam for now. Anyways, the whole point of this is to get through the maze. This is probably the hardest part. All you need to do, walk that way. Once you reach the end, you find this chest. It has a golden pumpkin. There used to be a cool trick involving that, I think it's been patched. Anyways, that about concludes the Spirit's Eve festival. You can actually sell the golden pumpkin, it's pretty valuable. I'm gonna keep mine and put it on the table. And that would be the end of the 27th. And as it turns out, my foraging skill finally hit level 10. I'm obviously gonna pick botanist. Forage items are always highest quality, which is iridium quality, which makes them very valuable. That's the gold earned for the day, nothing surprising there. I got us a golden pumpkin for the table, make with a star drop. This is not a star drop, it's a sweet pea and you can have that right back. Sunday and that means we get a recipe, the queen of sauce, greetings it is I, blah blah blah, artichoke dip, that sounds terrible, thanks. Oh well it turns out my sweet gem berries are actually ready, I was worried they weren't going to be ready in time because I planted them so late. Just on the last day, so obviously we're going to pick those first. Two gold quality, three silver. And honey, whatever to ancient fruit, it's going to be a good day crop wise. Because I also have my last harvest of cranberries. As far as selling all these crops goes, I'm going to sell the cranberries but I'm going to keep the sweet gem berries and the ancient fruit for now because I'm going to turn that into seeds and possibly use it in a greenhouse. I guess while I'm at it I can turn the honey into mead. Stupid chicken has not laid another stupid large egg so that kind of sucks. I was hoping to get my greenhouse on the first of winter. There really isn't a lot to do on the last day of fall at this point. It is Sunday, which is the first day of the week, therefore I can give everyone some more gifts. And I can't remember what I was doing right now though. I was coming this direction for something. That's right, it is Sunday, the traveling merchant. Now I remember. 
Hopefully they have something I can use to complete the animal bundle in the community center. And it turns out they actually do. Large goat milk is the last thing I need, or one of the last things. Anyways, it will complete the bundle. I get a greenhouse. Luck has really been on my side on this farm. Okay, first things first because I want my greenhouse. Insert goat milk into there, just like that. This is complete. I get my small reward, which is a cheese press, which I already have. And tonight, my greenhouse. And a cutscene with his squeaky apple creatures. And let's do a little gift giving. Linus gets a cauliflower. Great gift. He's working his way up the love meter. Looks like Pierre needs corn. 150 gold. I believe I have some on me right this very moment. So he gets that easy peasy. One corn for my favorite merchant. Hello Johnson, you saw the notice. Okay, I'm just going to wait for everyone to congregate at this saloon later. So uh, in the meantime, I'm going to make some seed makers for my ancient fruit and rare seeds. Just like that, five new seed makers placed in a neat little row. So I'm simply going to turn all this ancient fruit into ancient fruit seeds and then plant them in my greenhouse tomorrow. Just like that, 20 ancient seeds already. While I'm at it, I guess I might as well do the rare seeds or the sweet gem berry as they're also known as. I'll probably run them to the greenhouse once or twice till they're all grown up and sell them for money and give one to the statue in the secret woods for the other star drop. I think I'm friends with her now so she gets a cauliflower. Oh wow Johnson, this is spectacular. Yeah, it's a vegetable so it's pretty great. Here's for another good week. Toast. With the cauliflower? Anyways, I have no time for your games. I've got to be at the museum. Two more artifacts for my weird friend Gunther. Professor X, you get a crusty baguette. Definitely still have more people I need to give gifts to, but I feel like Pam's pretty much only when it shows up on a Sunday. And she's already at 10 hearts, so she doesn't get any more gifts. Emily we can make friends with. I don't know if she likes beer. I'm pretty sure pretty much everyone does, so whatever. Okay, whatever. I'll find everyone else later in the week. I'm over fall, so I'm going to bed. But not before I collect my delicious mead and rare seeds, with which I now have eight. Alright, anyway, goodbye fall. Give me some money, game. Oh, and yeah, greenhouse. And money for the day, 22,000 gold, just shy of obviously all in cranberries because I didn't sell anything else. Nothing says a good start of winter like a star drop. Ah, uh, nothing. Okay, here's what winter looks like. All my sprinklers, field empty obviously. I'm going to move those into my greenhouse shortly. Okay, I have 20 ancient seeds and 8 rare seeds that I need to plant for a total of 28, so time to lay out a greenhouse. Okay, that's what the finished product looks like. Obviously it's going to change as these things grow and change themselves. I know the sprinkler is the wrong kind, but it will be replaced with an iridium quality sprinkler by the end of the day. Now that I've got that all done and over with, I'm going to go do my foraging to try and get the rest of the winter foraging bundle for winter. My wife seems to have wandered away from the house. Hello wife, what are you doing out here? Nothing to say, have a cauliflower. Okay, I just found the first thing that I need for the winter foraging bundle right down there by the museum or the blacksmith rather. I will drop that off as soon as I find the other thing I need which is the purple flower. Okay, we found our purple flower, the crocus. That's the last thing I need. Gonna take that to the community center. I also have four wormy things to hoe up here. But before I do all that, I gotta go to the saloon before everyone leaves and give everyone some gifts. The only one here is Shane and he loves beer. There you go. And here is yet another bundle complete. And that's going to be a whole other room, the bridge repair, all that stuff. And my instant reward is 30 winter seeds, which I will not be planting. Okay, that room's done now, all filled up with stuff along with that room. And since we're on a roll with a community center anyway, we might as well do this room. The reward for that, Crystallarium, that's pretty good, doubles gems. 10,000 gold for the lightning rod, already have a bunch of those. And then the quality fertilizer. I definitely could have used those before I planted all my valuable seeds 10 minutes ago, but whatever. That's hindsight now. I now get the bus repaired so I can go to the desert and do all that stuff. And that leaves me with just the bulletin board to complete. That one is pretty hard, there's a lot of diverse items in there, but I'll get to that when I get to that. The best part about finishing that room is Pam has to go back to work now. Okay, my last task of the busy winter day is to replace this sprinkler with this sprinkler. Nice purple iridium. Alright, that's it for the first day of winter. Not sure if I made much money at all, there's Pam's new ride. Big money for the day, 190 gold. Okay, that's going to be it for this video now that we're into winter. That was pretty productive. Community centers coming along, blah blah blah. 
stay tuned for more videos should have one up tomorrow which is saturday hopefully one sunday so yeah thanks for watching hope you liked it